This is the continuations of Project Risk Management for Program Portfolio Management for page 153 out of 194. Chapter X6.3 Qualitative Risk Analysis. Qualitative Risk Analysis. Prioritize the unidentified and undifferentiated list of risk that had been identified in the Identify risk processes for further evaluation or for handling organization tend to apply resources to those designated as high risk. Organization tend, organization tend to apply resources to this designated as high risk based on their priority, often indicated by the risk probability and impact characteristic. Qualitative risk analysis techniques are usually based on probability and impact, but can also include additional prioritization variable. It is recommended to have a consistent, well-defined prioritization technique to maintain consistency among rather and examples of rating definitions schema as shown in figure X6-9. In figure X6-9 example of definitions of level of probability and impact on three specific objectives used to evaluate individual risk. This one, there is a scale probability, a positive negative impact on project objectives, time, cost, and quality. So in a scale VHI, HI, high, medium, low, very low in IL. <clears throat> probability of very high is 61 to 99%. Probability of high is 41 to 60 percent, medium is for 21 to 40 percent, low for 11 to 20 percent, very low is 1 to 10 percent, and in IL. What do you mean by in IL not indicated low? Greater than 1 percent. The time is 40 days, the high, the very high is 40 days time, the cost is uh, US dollar 200,000. And the quality is very significant impact on overall functionality. The scale high is uh, 21 to 40 days. The cost is 10, 101,000 to 200,000. Significant impact on overall functionality. The medium is 21 to 40 percent. The time is 11 to 20 days. The US dollar 51 to 100,000 cost. Some impact in key functional areas. The law is. Uh, 11 to 20 percent 16 days impact and uh, US dollar 11 to 50,000 minor impact on overall functionality very low the 1 to 10 percent 1 to 5 days US dollar 10 uh, 1,000 to 10,000 minor impact on secondary functions the one percent no, no change no change and no change of functionality section x63.1 and x63.7 describe some common technique for qualitative risk analysis x63.1 affinity diagram an affinity diagram is used to organize specific ideas or factors that contributes to a risk it helps to sort risk by similarities or generic risk categories 6.3.2 analytic hierarchy process analytic hierarchy process ehp is a matrix method based on technique used to support a multi-criteria decision making process it also it can also be used to identify risk even though there is an objective ranking where the subjectivity is minimized the grouping is arbitrary an example as shown in figure 6 x6 does 10 Preference factor. Preference factor 1. Equality preferred 2. Midly preferred 3. Moderate preferred 4. Greatly preferred 5. Always preferred. Input metrics. Preference factor. Cost 1. Time 0 0.25. Scope 0 0.33. Quality 0 0.20. Time. Time. Cost is 4.00. Time is 1.00. Scope is 1.0. Zero quality 0 0.25 scope the cost is 3.0 
time is 1.0, 1.0 and the quality is 0.25. Quality cost is 5.00, 4.00, 4.00 and 1. Calculated factor preference, factor column total, weight factor, cost, time, scope, quality, average, row. So the figure CX6 does state example of anarchy, analytic hierarchy process computations to determine the relative weighting of four objectives related to the project. X63.3 influence diagram. Influence diagram is dramatic, diagrammatic, diagrammatic representations of situation showing the main entities, decision points, uncertainties, and outcomes, indicating the relationship influences between them. When combining the sensitivity analysis or, Mon or Monte Carlo simulation, the influence diagram can identify risk to reveal their sources. X6.3.4 nominal group technique. The nominal group technique is an adaptation of brainstorming where applications shall undiscuss all issues before evaluation with each participants participating equally in evaluation. X6.3.5 probability and impact matrix. A probability and impact matrix allow the user to prioritize risk for further analysis or responses. It helps to distinguish between those risks that will have a minor impact or business activities and those that will have a major impact it usually classifies risk according to their impact probability such as very high high moderate low and very low an example is a probability and impact matrix shown in figure x6-11 probability and impact risk ranking probability very high high medium low and very low the threat is low, medium, medium, high, high, high. Opportunities and probability, very high, medium, and low. Impact opportunities, impact threat. X6.3.6 Rest Data Analysis. Rest Data Quality Analysis. Result of the risk analysis are only as good as data collected, review, and Reliability and sufficiency of the data ensures that the analysis is based on high quality information data that are deemed to be a lesser quality may be further researches or excluded from the risk analysis. Care should be taken when excluding poor quality data to avoid a less than robust qualitative analysis. X6.3.7 assessment of other risk parameters. Other characteristic of risk, in addition to probability and impact, can be considered when prioritizing risk for further analysis and action. These characteristics may include but are not limited to urgency, urgency, the period of time which, within which the response to the risk is to be implemented in order to be effective. A short period indicates high urgency, proximity, the period of time before arrest time might have an impact on one or more objectives. A short period indicates high proximity, detectability, the ease of which the result of arrest occurring or being about to occur can be detected and recognized when the arrest occurrence can be detected easily. Detectability is high. Dormancy, the period of time at may elapse after the rest has occurred before its impact is discovered. A short period indicates low dormancy. Manageability, the period of time that may elapse after the risk has occurred before its impact is discovered. A short period indicates low dormancy. Manageability, the ease of each of which a risk owner or owning organization can manage the occurrence or impact of the risk when management is easy, manageability is high. Controllability. Controllability, the degree of which the risk owner or owning organization is able to control the risk outcome when the outcome can be controlled easily, controllability is high. 
connectivity, the, co the index, the extent to which a risk is related to other individual risk. When a risk is connected to many other risk, connectivity is high. A strategic impact, the potential for a risk to have a positive or negative effect on the organization's strategic goal when a risk has a major effect on a strategic goal, a strategic impact is high. Stakeholder impact, the degree to which a risk is perceived to matter by one or more stakeholder. When a risk is perceived as very significant, stakeholder impact is high. X6.3.8 System Dynamics System Dynamics is, the, is a particular application of influence diagram and can be used to further identify risk within a given situation. The SD System Dynamics model represents entitles, entities, and information flow and analysis for the model can reveal feedback and feed towards loops that lead to uncertainty or instability. In addition, the result of an SD analysis can show the impact of risk event in overall result analysis of changes in the model or assumption can indicate the system sensitivity or to a specific event, some of which may be risk. System dynamics expose unexpected interrelationship between element feedback and feed forward loops that can be generate counterintuitive perspective not available through other techniques. The result is a view of the overall impact of all included risk. Quantitative risk analysis. X6.4 quantitative risk analysis is used to determine the overall risk to objective when all risk potentially operate simultaneously. Technique use appropriate for quantitative risk analysis have several characteristic comprehensive risk representation of your risk impact calculation, probability models, data gathering capabilities, effective representations of quant quantitative analysis result, and iteration capabilities. Quantitative risk analysis technique, available representations of both opportunities and threat to the given objectives. Section X6.4.1 through X6.4.7 describe some common technique useful quantitative risk analysis. X6.4.1 contingency reserve estimation. All of the condition response plan as well as as well any of the residual risk well if they occur have an effect on objectives an amount time and cost need to be set aside to allow of these eventualities this amount is made up of two components number one amount of cover a specific approved conditional response example contingency plan and amount of address is specified or possibly accepted risk Quantitative method can be used to determine the amount that should, should be set aside. This serves as track and manage as part of monitor risk processes. X6.4.2 Decision 3 Analysis Decision 3 Analysis is used to determine partial and global capabilities of occurrence. It is a tree-like model that calculates the expected monetary value, see section X.4.4, of different possibilities by probability of occurrence. A simple example of the decision tree is shown in figure 6-12. So this is the decision tree, example decision tree in PM book guide number 4, page 141 of risk management composed of decision definition decision node change node net path value so decision to be made input cost of each decision output decision made change node is input scenario probability reward if it occur output expected monetary value evm 
net path value computed pay off minus cost along path decision node change node end of the branch Note 1, all monetary value listed are in US dollar. Note 2, the decision tree show how to make decision between alternative capital strategy represented as decision nodes when the environmental contains uncertain elements represented as a chance nodes. Note 3, her decision is being made whether they invest 120 million to build a new plant or to the instead of invest only 50 million to upgrade the existing plant. For its decision the demand which is uncertain and therefore represents a chance node must be accountable for the example of a strong demand lead to 200 million revenue with a new plant each branch show the net effect of the payroll minus cost of its decision branch all effect are added c shaded areas to determine the overall expected monetary value of m for the decision, remember to account for the investment cost from the calculations of shaded area and upgrade plant has a higher EVM of 46 million, also the EVM of the overall decision. This choice also represents the lowest risk avoiding the worst case possible outcomes of loss of 30 million. Six point four point three is the meeting technology technique applied the probability and impact. The probability of impact occurring can be specified on several different ways. One common way is to assign level of risk probability of ranges of probability. One benefits of this approach is that the subject matter expert only need to assess a risk opportunity within the range rather than the specified value. Example of impact level definition are very work specific. The values used to specify the level of impact from very low to very high. If a five times five metrics are used, are being used should be designated as higher impact for threat or opportunities as they are moved from very low to very high for specific objectives defined by the organization as causing the same amount of pain or gain for each level across objectives and tailored or scaled by stakeholder to the specific work. The definition appropriate tailored can be used for opportunities and threat. If a risk impact is uncertain and could be assigned to more than one level of impact, example, from moderate to high, the, anal the analyst may choose to assign the risk to the impact level that represents the expected or average impact alternatively. The risk may be planned for extra analysis in order to reduce the range of uncertainty to fit within the single range. X6.4.4 expected monetary value. Expected monetary value EVM is a statistical technique that is used to quantify risk which in turn assist the manager in calculating the contingency reserve EVM. Its calculation EVM is a calculation of value such as weighted average or expected cost or benefits when the outcomes are uncertain or reasonable alternative outcomes are identified, their probabilities of occurring assuming to 100% and their values are estimated. The EVM calculation is made of the entire event by weighting the individual possible outcomes by their probabilities of occurring. The formula is expected monetary value EVM equals the probability times impact. X6.4.5 FEMEA FMEA fault tree analysis. FEMEA is a failure mode and effect analysis. FMEA FEMEA or fault tree analysis use a model structured to identify the various elements that can cause system failure by themselves or in combinations with other base of the logic of the system. Fault tree analysis is often used in engineering contexts 
it can be adapted for use to identify risk by analyzing how risk impact might arise or the probability of failure or of reliability mean time between failure. The overall system indicating the level of quality of the system or product of the level of reliability is not acceptable. The fault tree can indicate where the system can be made, then made more reliable. Therefore, it is used in design and engineering piece of the project program or a program or project. Failure mode effect analysis assess the analysis and potential reliability of the system and or the product it is used together with the failure mode effect and criticality analysis as part of the general program to assess reliability and the system and potential failure nodes. Using historical data, the analysis of similar product services, warrant data outcomes, data compliance, and any other information available may lead to use of internal inter-terential statistic, mathematical models, simulations, concurrence, engineering, and reliability, engineering to identify and define the possible failure, failure mode effect, and the criticality analysis. FEMECA is the logical extent of FEMIA. It evaluates the criticality and the probability of occurrence in the future news. X6.4.6 Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo simulation is technique to simulate probability distributions of a risk on the on an objectives. The statistical method samples event are determined by average behavioral of the system. Monte Carlo simulation is the statistic analysis technique that can be applied in situation in which there are uncertain estimate with the aim of reducing the level of uncertainty through the series of simulation. In this sense, it can be applied in the analysis risk associated with the particular objectives. For each of the variable Monte Carlo simulation do not provide a single estimate, but a range of the position estimate associated with, the, with each estimate and a level of opportunity that the estimate is accurate confidence level see is shown in x6.13 so in x6 for example of histogram monte carlo simulation program management cumulative probability and cumulative probability so there is 0 to 100 0 to 100 2 million to 2.8 million this is example 23 percent chance of meeting target target 2.2 Expected value is 2.35 and 85% chance of costing of 2.45 million. X6.7.4.7 part program or project evaluations and review technique. So part is a pro project evaluation review technique. A time-based technique that can be used to quantify risk at a given point in the development of the project or program. X6.5 Plan Risk Response. X6.5 Plan Risk Response. Plan Risk Responses develops the set of action required to consider the risk and their characteristic and integrates them into corresponding plans and budgets. The consultant's plan should satisfy the risk appetite and attitudes of the key stakeholder. There are three categories of technique as follow. Creativity techniques to identify potential responses. Decision supports technique to determining the optimal potential response and implementation technique designed to turn a risk response into action. Respectively, these categories are technique can be used to identify potential responses. Select the most appropriate response to translate a strategy into planning and assign a corresponding action. Identifying potential response by the variety of creativity technique are quite similar to risk identification technique. See section X, 6-2. Decision support 
technique assist in examining the trade-off between risk response strategies. Such technique also assist in choosing between preemptive pre prevention and contingency response based on trigger. Section X6.5.1 through X6.5.5 describe a few decision support techniques that may be used for the plan risk response process. X6.5.1 Contingency Planning For a specific, normally high impact risk, the risk owner may choose to assemble the team to develop a response as if the risk had genuinely happened. The corresponding plan with the supporting information is then documented and approved by management or the sponsor. This approval includes authorization to deploy the corresponding resources if the predefined trigger condition arise. X6.5.2 Force Field Analysis Force Field Analysis aids is typically used in the challenge change management context. It can be adapted for risk response planning for identifying driving forces, forces for chains and restraining force, forces against chains which currently affect achievements of an objective. Risk responses can then be molded based on net result of the force as shown in the figure X6-14. Plan upgrade factory with new manufacturing equipment. Figure X6-14, example of force field analysis and the balance of force for and against the chains. So plan upgrade factory with new manufacturing equipment. Number one, control arising, maintenance, raise volume, output, improve speed of production, customer wants new product. So that this is the force of chains. Force against chains, loss of its of stuff over time, stuff threatened from new technology. Environmental impact of new technology, cost, and disruption. X6.5.3 Multi-Criteria Selection Technique Criteria for deciding whether to dose a specific risk response for among several options include cost, schedule, technical requirements, etc., as well as the risk attributes, such as the type of risk, magnitudes of probability and impact. Multi-criteria selections could be weighed to reflect the importance of various Criterion as shown in figure X6-15. Figure X6-15 example of meter criteria, weighting and analysis. Criterion price, functionality, ace of use, lead time and score. The price is, the weight is 9, rating of 8, option A and B, points, rating and points. Price, functionality, ease of use, lead of time, rating, points, rating and points for option A and B. X6.5.4 Scenario Analysis Scenario Analysis For risk response planning involves defining several plausible alternative scenario. Each scenario may require different risk response that can be described and evaluated for this cost and effectiveness. If the organization can choose between several scenarios, the alternative, including responses, can be compared if the scenarios are out of control of the organization. The analysis can lead to effective and necessary contingency planning. Scenarios usually include optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic assessment. The representations of optimistic and pessimistic scenario can be useful in providing managers with a certain sensitivity to the upside and downside potential associated with a portfolio program or project. X6.5.5 Simulation Simulation is a technique to estimate the benefits and implications of different response plan versus the effort and cost required to implement them. Simulation can also help analyze the possible implication of the critical chain in project when implementing different risk response option. X6.6 Response Plan Implementation The most common technique to turn preventive response plan into action is adding them to the portfolio, program, or project management plan, while some planning technique can keep track of and different between task and action that originate from response plan. Some planning technique may not be differentiate between risk response task 
and other tasks. X6.7 monitor risk. Monitor risk provides the assurance that risk response are being applied, verifies whether they are effective, and as necessary initiate corrective action. Section X6.7.1 through X6.7.10 describes technique for monitoring risk during the entire portfolio program or project life cycle. X6.7.1 Data Analytics Data analytics supports the explorations of known risk types by analyzing related documentations and related data for applicability to the specific portfolio, program, or project. In direct data analytics, the questions and types of risk explored are predefined as are the relationship between different types of risk and cost and effect. The use of big data advanced analytics or artificial intelligence capabilities to explore unknown types of risk are a form of advanced data analytic. Six, X6.7.2 Reserve Analysis Reserve analysis is an analytical technique to determine the essential features and relationship of components in the work management plan to establish a reserve for the scheduled duration budget, estimated cost, or fund. Tracking the state of reserve through execution provides summary information as to evolutions of the status of the corresponding risk. This information can be useful when reporting up the organization management structure. In addition, once a risk occurs or ceases to be current, example, when it can no longer impact, the corresponding reserve needs to be reviewed to assess whether it's, it still provides agreed upon level of confidence. X6.7.3 Residual Impact Analysis Response plan implementation could lead to residual risk or an emergent risk residual impact analysis is used to identify side effect of implementing response plan. X6.7.4 Risk Audit Risk audit are carried out in order to evaluate the following. Risk management rules are being carried out as specified and risk management rules are adequate for controlling the work. Appendix X3, X4, and X5 discuss metrics useful for develop and defining management control for portfolio program and project risk management governance. These management controls then because criteria against which an audit is conducted. X6.7.5 Risk Breakdown Structure the risk breakdown structure RBS is hierarchical frameworks of potential source of risk. An organization may develop a generic or a specific RBS. The RBS helps to identify a specific risk in relation to its category and offer a framework for other risk identification techniques such as the brainstorming. An RBS helps to ensure coverage of all types of risk and test for blind spot or omissions. An example of a generic RBS for a project is shown in Figure X6-16. Figure X6-16 example of generic risk breakdown structure for the project. RBS Level 0, RBS Level 1, RBS Level 2. In RBS Level 0, all sources of project risk. RBS Level 1. Technical risk. Management risk. Commercial risk. External risk. So in technical risk, in RBS level 1, the level to RBS is scope definition, requirements definition, estimate assumptions and constraints, technical processes, technology, technical interfaces, and others. In the management risk, the RBS level 2 is project management, program or portfolio management, operations management, organizations, resourcing, communication, etc. Commercial risk in RBS Level 2 is contractual terms and condition, internal procurement, supplier and vendors, subcontract, clients, customer stability, partnership and joint ventures, etc. External risk are example are legislation, exchange rates, sites, facilities, 
environmental weather competition regulatory and others x6.7.6 risk reassessment risk reassessment requires the following activities to be estimated and validated again to assure effective control identifying new risk evaluating current risk evaluating the risk management processes and closing risk x6.7.7 sensitivity analysis sensitivity analysis is the evaluations of the effect on the variables of one or more influencing variables often used as a technique in monitoring risk it serves to identify the possible impact on a given objective should one or more risk materialize x6.7.8 status meeting a status meeting includes the review of all open risk and trigger condition that have occurred leading to risk become issue risk responded to in the past period effectiveness of the action taken impact on the portfolio program or project and lesson learned are formally recorded in the unknown management system x6.7.9 trend analysis trend analysis evaluates how the risk profile changes over time whether or not the previous action resulted in the expected expected effect and whether or not additional actions are required x6.7.10 variance analysis the analysis of the variance compared plan versus actual result when the variance are increasing there is an increase uncertainty of risk outcomes from this analysis may forecast any potential or future deviation from the baseline plan prior to completion deviation from the baseline plan may indicate the potential impact of threat or opportunities risk management technique recap x6.8 risk management recap table x6-1 less technique for carrying out risk management in portfolios program and project the list is not exhausted and it is not necessary to use all of the technique the column heading list the risk management processes discuss the section 4 of the standard and indicate a few of the strengths and weaknesses of each technique within each cell and letter indicates a subjective evaluations of the relevance of each technique for the risk management processes in table x6-1 the c stands for core and means the use of technique to recognize as useful in the context of the given process and the s stands for supportive and means that the technique can provide some useful information for a given process so in table x6-1 the c stands for core and the s stands for the supportive Table X6 does one matrix, the rest management technique map, the rest management life cycle stages. So here there is a technique risk identification, qualitative analysis, quantitative analysis, response planning, risk monitoring, strength and weaknesses. So in technique in the affinity diagram, Analytic hierarchy, affinity diagram in quantitative, qualitative risk analysis is supportive. In response planning is supportive. A strength allow the group grouping of ideas by common attributes. The weaknesses may miss no sense of individual risk. In technique, analytic hierarchy process in qualitative analysis is core and qual quantitative risk analysis is supportive. The strength is assessed in developing a relative weight of subject objectives that reflect the organization's priorities. Assess the creations of an overall priority list of risk created from the risk priority with respect to individual objectives. The weaknesses is the organizational decisions are often made by committees and individual may not agree on the relative priority among objectives difficult to gather the information about pairwise 
comparisons of the objectives from the high level management. And another technique is assessment of other risk parameter. In qualitative risk analysis, it's a core and response is the supportive and risk monitoring supportive. The strength is gives additional perspective on risk, help to plan action in the right time, helps to identify additional needs of monitoring mechanism. The weaknesses is might make the qualitative analysis more complicated. Another technique is assumptions and constraint analysis. In the risk identification, it is a core C. The quantit quantitative analysis, it's uh, S, is supportive, and risk monitoring is a S, supportive. The strength is simple structured approach, can be based on assumptions and constraint already listed in the charter, generates work specific risk. The weaknesses is implicit hiding assumptions or constraint, or often miss. Another technique is a brainstorming. Brainstorming and race identification, it is a core, and response, it is a supportive. The strength is allow all participants to speak their mind and contribute to the discussion, can involve in all key stakeholders, create generations of ideas. The weaknesses is require attendance of key stakeholders at a workshop, therefore can be expensive and difficult to arrange, prone to group think and other group dynamics may produce bias result if dominated by a strong person, often not well facilitated and generate non-risk and implicates requires bill fearing, bill filtering. So that is a weaknesses of the brainstorming. Another technique is a cause and effect Ishikawa diagram. The risk identification is core and the quanti, 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 qualitative risk analysis is supportive and response planning is supportive. So the strength is visual representation promotes a structured thinking and the weaknesses is diagram can quickly become overly complex. The last is a checklist. The risk identification is core. The quantitative risk analysis is supportive and the response is supportive in addition to risk monitoring is supportive letter S. So the strength is capture previous experience, present detail list of risk. And the weaknesses is checklist can grow to become unwidely risk not on the list will be missed and often only includes threat and miss opportunity. So another technique in continuations of table X6, this one on page 169 on uh, folder 169 out of 194. The contingency planning, the qualitative analysis is S supportive. Quantitative analysis S is supportive. Response planning is a core. The strength is ensure the action are available to address significant event before their occurrence. Allow rapid and focused response. Improve image of professionalism of the way in which the work is managed. And the weaknesses is can give false feeling of confidence as if it's the rest has been avoided. Another technique is contingency reserve estimation. The quantitative analysis is the core. The response planning is the supportive and risk monitoring is supportive. The strength is provide a rational of reserves basis of constructive discussions with the sponsor. And the weaknesses is make the reserve visible and therefore liable to be reduced arbitrarily. Another technique is data analysis. Risk identification is supportive. Quantitative analysis is supportive and risk monitoring is a core. The strength is enables complex analysis, provide insight that might otherwise be missed. The weaknesses is required significant investigation, investment of resource to build, release on consistency of data input. Decision three analysis. Decision tree analysis, the quantitative qualitative analysis is supportive, quantitative and response planning is a core. The strength is cost of organizations to structure the cost and benefits of decision when the results are determined in parts by uncertainty and risk. Solutions of decision tree help select the decision that provides the highest expected monetary value 
or expected utility to be organization. The weaknesses is sometimes difficult to create the decision structure. Probabilities of occurrence can be difficult to quantify in the absence of historical data. The best decision may change with plausible change in the input data, meaning that the answer may not be stable. The organization may not make decision based on the linear expected monetary value basis, but rather on the nonlinear utility function. Utility functions are difficult to specify. Decision tree analysis are complicated situation requires specialized software. There are there may be some resistance to issuing technical approach to decision making. So that is the weaknesses of a decision tree analysis. DLP technique. DLP technique, the risk identification is a core. The qualitative analysis is supportive. The, re the response planning is supportive. And the strength is capture input from technical expert, remove source of bias. The weaknesses is limited to technical risk, dependence on actual expertise of expert, may take longer time than available due to iterations of the expert input. So another technique, last as the documents review. Oh, this is not the last document review. The risk identification is a core. The strength is exposed, detailed risk require no specialist tool. And the weaknesses is limited to risk contained in documentation. Estimating technique applied to probability and impact. The qualitative analysis is core. Quantitative analysis is the core. And the response planning is the supportive. The strength is address both key dimensions of risk, namely its degree of uncertainty expressed as probability and its effect on objectives expressed as impact. And the weaknesses is difficult to calibrate if there is no historical database of similar event. Terms of probability, example, probable, almost certain, and for impact, example, insignificant major are ambiguous and subjective. Impact can uncertain or is representative by the range of the value that cannot be put into a specific impact label such as moderate impact on time. Another technique is expected monetary value. The quantitative analysis is the core and the, way the strength is AVM allow the user to calculate the weight average expected value of an event that includes uncertain outcomes well suit to decision tree analysis. EVM incorporates both the probability and impact of the uncertain event. EVM is a simple calculation that does not require a specialized software. The weaknesses of this of EVM is assessment of probability of risk event occurring and of their impact can be difficult to make. EVM provides only the expected value of uncertain event. Risk decision often requires more information than EVM can provide. EVM is something used in situations where Monte Carlo simulation would be more appropriate and provide additional information about risk. Another technique is expert judgment. The risk identification and qualitative analysis is a core. And the quantitative analysis, response planning, and risk monitoring is supportive letter S. The strength of this expert judgment is provide experiential perspective, multiple expert increase, breadth, and depth. The weaknesses of the expert judgment are, is can be subject to bias based on the experience, potential for limited perspective, facilitation, another technique is facilitation, Facilitation, the risk identification is core and the response planning is supportive. The strength is enable broad participations and diverse perspective. The weaknesses is can be time consuming subject to group think bias. FEMIA or FEMIACA, fault tree analysis, FMEA 
slash FME CA fall tree analysis. So the rest identification is a core. The quantitative analysis is a core. And the response planning is supportive. The strength is a structured approach well understood by engineers. Produce an estimate of overall reliability using quantitative tools. Good tool support. The weaknesses is focus on threat not, to, not so useful for opportunities. Requires expert tools not generally available to others. Force field analysis. Force field analysis. The rest identification is a core. The qualitative analysis is subjective, supportive, letter S. And the response planning is supportive. The strength is create deep understanding of factor that affect objective. And uh, weaknesses is time consuming and complex technique usually only applied to the single objective so does not provide whole view. Another technique is historical information. The risk identification of this historical information, qualitative analysis, quantitative analysis, and response planning is a core, while the risk monitoring is supportive. The strength is leverage previous experience, prevent making the same mistake or missing the same opportunities, enhance the organizational process assets. The weaknesses of this is limited to this risk that, that occurred previously. Information is frequently incomplete, lack details of past risk, and may not include details of successful resolution. Ineffective strategies are rarely documented. Another is the influence diagram. Influence diagram. The risk identification and qualitative analysis is a core while the response planning is supportive, letter S. The weakness, the strength is exposed. Key risk drivers can give generate counter counterintuitive insight not available through other technique. And the weaknesses of this is required discipline thinking, not always easy to determine appropriate structure. Another technique is interview. The risk identification is core. And the risk monitoring is core for the interviews. The strength is address risk in details, generate engagement of the stakeholder. The weaknesses is time consuming, races, non risk, concern issue, worries, etc. Therefore, requires filtering. Another continuation of table X6 that's one. The technique is Monte Carlo simulation. Monte Carlo simulation. The quantitative analysis is a core and the response planning is supportive, letter S. The strength is used primarily for project schedule and cost risk analysis, analysis in a strategic decision. Allow all specified risks to, to, to vary simultaneously. Calculates quantitative estimate of overall risk. Reflect the reality that similar risk may occur together. Provide answer to questions such as, one, how likely is the base plan to be successful? Number two, how much contingency in time and cost do we need to achieve our desired level of confidence? Number three, which activities are important in determining the overall risk? The weaknesses of Monte Carlo simulation is scheduled are not simple and often cannot be used in simulation without significant debugging by an expert scheduler. Quality of the input data depends heavily on the expert judgment and the effort of expertise of the, of the risk analyze, analyst. Simulations are sometimes resisted by management as being unnecessarily or too sophisticated compared to other more traditional techniques. Monte Carlo simulation requires a specialized software which must be acquired and learned, causing a barrier to its use produce unrealistic result unless input data includes both threat and opportunities. 
Another technique is multi-criteria selection technique. The quantitative analysis is supportive and response planning is a core. The strength of multi-criteria selection technique is provide a means of selecting the response the best support of full set of objectives, while the weaknesses of multi-criteria selection te technique is can give counterintuitive result, counterintuitive result. Another technique is nominal group technique. The response identification is supportive and the qualitative analysis is a core. The strength of nominal group technique is encourage and allow all participation to contribute, allow for different level of competence in common language, provide ideal base for affinity diagramming, grouping by risk categories for use in the risk breakdown structure and root cause analysis can lead to frustration in dominant member who feel it is moving slowly. Another technique is PERT program or project evaluations and review technique. PERT project evaluations and review technique. The quantitative analysis is a core and the planning response is supportive. The strength of this part is provide a time-based view of risk useful for observing the degree of which a risk take on greater significance at a given point in time. The weaknesses is does not have a defined measure of impact. The probability and impact matrix, another technique is probability and impact matrix. The qualitative analysis is a core. The response planning is a subjective and risk monitoring is a subjective supportive letter S. The strength of this is allow the organizations to prioritize the risk for further analysis, example, quantitative or risk response, reflect the organization's level of risk tolerance. The weaknesses of probability and impact matrix metrics is does not explicitly handle of other factors such as urgency or manageability and may partially determine a risk ranking range of uncertainty in the assessment of a risk probability or impact may overlap a boundary prompt list another technique is prompt list the risk identification is a core and the response planning is supportive the, the strength is ensure coverage of all type of risk and stimulates creativity. The topic can be too abstract. The weaknesses is topic can be too abstract. Another is another technique is questionnaire. The risk identification is a core and the qualitative analysis is a supportive. The strength is encourage broad thinking to identify risk and the weaknesses. A success depends on the quality of the question, limited to the topics covered by the question, and can be simple formatting of a checklist. Another technique is reserve analysis. The qualitative and quantitative analysis and response planning is a core, and the risk monitoring is a supportive. The strength is provide a means of tracking speed and releasing contingency amount as risk expire can be applied to schedule reserve in the same way gives early warning to the of the need of communicate with the sponsor and could lead the weaknesses is could lead to unwanted focus on cost dimension Attention to overall measure of reserve depletion may high detailed risk. Another, uh, another technique is residual impact analysis. The risk identification is a core and the response planning and risk monitoring is supportive. The strength is provide a further analysis of potential risk after initial treatment is applied. The weaknesses of the residual impact analysis is may promote focusing on risk that do not have substantial impact potential. The risk audit. 
<clears throat> Another technique is risk audit. The risk identification is supportive and the risk monitoring is supportive. Ah, no. The, the risk monitoring is a core. The strength is to provide a formal assessment of the compliance with the approach specified in the risk management plan. The weaknesses is can be disrupted and taken as too judgmental to the team. The risk breakdown structure, another technique is risk breakdown structure. The risk identification is the core, the qualitative and quantitative analysis and response planning and risk monitoring is supported. The strength is offers a framework for other risk identification techniques such as brainstorming, ensures coverage of all types of risk, test for blind spot or omission, and the weaknesses is can lead to com complacency where the fact that the risk is recorded is deemed adequate risk management. Another technique is risk data quality assessment. The qualitative analysis is a core. The way the strength is promote considerations of the validity of risk characteristic. The weaknesses may be difficult to quantify the accuracy of the data. Another technique is risk assessment. Risk assessment. The risk response planning is supportive and the risk monitoring is a core. <clears throat> the strength is a foc forces a review of the risk when it, it becomes necessary so that the risk register remains current. And the weaknesses is takes time and effort. Another technique is a root cause analysis. Root cause analysis. The risk identification is a core. The qualitative and quantitative analysis is a supportive. The response planning is a core. The strength of root cause analysis allow identifications of additional dependent risk, allow the organization to identify risks that may be related because of their common root cause basis of for development of preempted and comprehensive response and can serve to reduce apparent complexity. The weaknesses of root cause analysis is, is most risk managed technique are organized by individual risk. This structure is not conduct, conducive, conducive to identifying the root cause and can oversimplify and hide existence of over other potential causes. There may be no valid strategy available for addressing the root cause once it has been identified. Another technique is scenario analysis. The risk identification is a core. The qualitative and quantitative analysis is supportive. And the risk response planning is supportive. And it is a core. The strength of the scenario analysis is provide view of the potential effect of the relevant risk and the corresponding response strategy forces the participants to analyze the effect of any strategy, help to identify secondary risk. The weaknesses of scenario analysis is add to the list of assumptions can be, can be time consuming. Another sensitivity analysis, another technique is sensitivity analysis. The quantitative, quantitative analysis is the core. The plan response is the plan response and the monitoring risk is supportive. The strength is enables a uh, structured approach for to evaluating potential impact of risk. And the weaknesses is suggest that the results are absolute because they have been giving a quantified measure. Another te te technique is simulation. Simulation, the risk identification 
is supportive. The quantitative analysis is a core. The response planning is supportive. The strength of simulation is allow for analysis of multiple forces around the given risk or set of risk. The weaknesses of simulation can be difficult to build a comprehensive model, often expensive to implement. The technique, another technique is status meeting. The risk identification is supportive and the risk monitoring is core. The strength is provide a means of verifying information about the status of risk, active, occurred, retired, and maintaining team understanding. The weaknesses is can seem unnecessary to some participants. Another technique is SWOT analysis. The risk identification is a core. The qualitative analysis is supportive. And the response planning is supportive. The strength is ensure equal focus on both threat and opportunities. Offers a structured approach to identify threat and opportunities. Focus on internal organizational strength and weaknesses and external opportunities and threat. The weaknesses of SWOT analysis is focus on inter internally generated risk arising from organizational strength and weaknesses, excludes external risk, tend to produce high level generic risk. The system dynamics is risk identification, qualitative analysis is a core. Another technique is system dynamic. The risk identification and qualitative analysis is a core, while the response planning is supportive. The strength of system dynamic is exposed unexpected iterations between elements, feedback, and feed forward loops can generate counter intuitive insight not available through other technique and provide produ produce overall impact of all include risk. The weaknesses of system dynamic is require specialized software and expertise to build model, focus on impact but difficult to include the concept of probability. Another technique is system dynamics. The risk identification and qualitative analysis is a core, while the response planning is a supportive. The strength of system dynamic are exposed and expected iteration between elements, feedback, and feed forward loops can generate counter intuitive insight not available through other technique, produce overall impact of all included risk. The, weakness, the weaknesses of the system dynamics are require specialized software and expertise to build models focus on impact but difficult to include the concept of probability. Another technique is trend analysis. The risk identification is supportive and the risk monitoring is a core. The strength of trend analysis is provide an identification indications of the effectiveness of early responses and can provide trigger condition for responses. The weaknesses of friend analysis is require understanding of significant versus non-significant variation. The variance analysis is supportive. The variant another technique is variance analysis. The risk identification is supportive and the risk monitoring is a core. The strength of variance analysis is allow comparison between forecast and actual risk impact can provide trigger condition for responses, provides data for earned value analysis, which can be compared to quantitative risk analysis result. The weaknesses of variance analysis does not show relationship with either data values can be taken out of context. So that is the weaknesses of variance analysis. Appendix X7, Enterprise Risk Management Consideration for Portfolio, Program, and Project Risk Management. Enterprise Risk Management EPM, ERM, consider all of an organization risk is an integrated collection. It is the systematic, organized, and structured methodology of examining and measuring all risk facing an organization 
developing suitable response and communicating, monitoring, and managing this to align with the strategic objectives of the organization. For ERM or Enterprise Risk Management, deliver maximum benefit. It is essential that a common approach to risk management can be used across the enterprise. A common risk management approach allows for all risk, whether portfolio program or project, to be normalized and aggregated. Risk aggregation allows for a risk position to be stated for any parts of the organization. This is essential for understanding the organization proximity to its stated risk appetite and tolerance. The risk management process that is employed of each level of organization should be appropriate, scalable, and tolerable. tolerable. In other words, the process should have graded approach to risk at the lowest level of the organization. Or for very small organizations, the risk management processes may be very simple and entirely qualitative at the highest level of the organization. The risk management process may need to be quite sophisticated because of the risk-based decision and are made of this level. As different as these two contexts may appear, it is possible for them to use a common process which is scaled and tailored to their needs. For larger, larger organization, ARM is usually a top-down and bottom-up process with risk review boards operating at multiple levels of organization. Its level is chartered with established escalation criteria to determine which risks are escalated to the next level. Escalation is usually implemented for one or two reasons situational awareness or to activate a help chain that is necessary to address the risk. For example, this could happen if one of a program's project experience a risk that not only threatened the project plan output but also has the potential to affect the program benefits. Conversely, risk may cascade from the top of the organizations to its lower level through the same communication channel. Portfolio, program, and project affect core aspects of ERM as it supports the setting, the management of the strategies and business objectives. Risk from portfolio program and project should be reflected as ARM risk that may result in changes to the business objectives or even strategies. The alignment process between ERM and the portfolio of programs and project could result in elevating the portfolio or program and project risk to the ERM level or result in addition of ERM top-down risk to the portfolio of programs and project. Inter-program and inter-project risk could, be, could also be outcomes of the alignment process, the prioritization, probabilities, and impact of risk escalated, cascaded, or identified, identified during the alignment process may vary from one level to the other and could decrease increase as a stray design. Alignment between ERM and portfolio program and project risk should be re-examined as changes are made to ERM, to the portfolio of program and project, and as part of risk control processes. Figure 7 does one element contributing to the degree of alignment between ERM and portfolio and portfolio program and project risk management. So, this is the Enterprise Risk Management ERM. It will go to Portfolio Program and Project Risk Management. And from Portfolio Program and Project Risk Management, it will return to ERM. So Enterprise Risk Maturity, Risk Culture, Management Practice, and External Requirements. The connections between ERM indicators and portfolio program and project risk indicators depends on the degree of integrations and alignment. Indicators reflecting strategy and business goals could be cascaded to the portfolio risk to promote integrations of ERM indicators and connections of enterprise target and goals. ARM is an approach to managing risk that reflect the organization's culture capability and strategy to create and sustain value, see figure 7.
X7-1. Many of the benefits of ERM are common to the benefits of portfolio risk management. ERM supports the organization's mission, vision, core values, and strategy. ERM is based on the organization's risk appetite and supports broad aspect of the strategy and objectives, as well as aspect, target, and goals that may be relevant to the organization's success. Other objectives of ERM includes, but are not limited to, prioritizations of resources, shaping of strategy, protecting strategic objectives, protecting existing value, driving profitability on, and growth by using risk management technique to generate value, and ensuring regulatory compliance, which protect the organizations from negative regulatory intervention and avoid penalties. ERM emphasizes the trade-off between benefits and their associated level of risk exposure. ERM examines different scenario and their associated level of risk. The ERM view of por portfolios program and project is a chosen scenario between a variety of risk result option, each with its own confidence level and associated risk when ERM is fully integrated into the management of the organization and its culture. It brings clarity to the organization addressing all of its uncertainty. Appendix X8 Risk Classification Appendix X8 Risk Classification Potential risk can be classified into one of four quadrants based on the degree of available information ambiguity and variability, see section 3.3.1 and figure 3-3. Organizations work to reduce the degree of unknown factors so they can be progressively converted to, to known and known or at least known unknown. This appendix details this concept which was introduced in section 3 of this standard. Known, known. Unknown known, K-N-O-W-N, is a fact, not a risk. These are typically identified as part of requirements and scope. The entity working on the endeavor is aware of this fact, which are incorporated in the portfolio program or project scope. Known unknown, unknown unknown, K-N-O-W-N, U-N, K-N-O-W-N. Known unknown is an identified risk. The entity working on the endeavor is aware of the uncertain event and the potential consequences. Known unknown risks are identified and proactively managed. Unknown known. Unknown known is a hidden fact. Knowledge about the fact might exist, however. The entity may not be aware of it. At the time of the endeavor, an example of the unknown known is a hidden or ignored assumption. The identification assessments and development of a strong understanding of unknown known risk occur over time. For complex and innovative activities, there is a high degree of guesswork in which risk can be identified, but with limited visibility. Unknown known are typically addressed through progressive risk elaboration integrated with the executions of the endeavor. Unknown 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 risk may be emergent risks that are essential and knowable within the context of the portfolio, program, and project management. The lack of knowledge makes any types of evaluations of explorations impossible. Unknown unknown can manage through organizational reliance resilience due to the unpredictability. Resilient organization encourage research rise awareness, encourage team to question the status quo, and increase the flow of information. This action stretch the boundaries of influence and prepare organizations to better respond to and recover from such event. Reference Project Management Institute 2015 Pulse of the Profession Project Management Institute 2017 
the standard of portfolio management fourth edition project management institute 2017 the standard of program management project management institute 2017 a guide of project management body of the gp in book sixth edition project management institute 2014 navigating complexity glossary page 182 to one out of 194 glossary assumption Assumption is a factor in the planning process considerations to be true, real, or certain without proof or demonstration. Cause event. Cause is an event or circumstances that currently exist or are certain to exist in the future, which might give a rise to risk. Component, a predetermined element of a portfolio or program that is work related to the achievements of the portfolio or program strategic objectives. A constraint. A constraint is a factor that limits the options of managing a program, project, portfolio, or processes. Contingency plan. A document that describes action to take if predetermined trigger condition occur. Contingency reserve. A time or money allocated in the schedule or cost baseline for known risk with active response strategy, see also management reserve. Emergen emerg emergent risk, a risk that arise which could not have been identified earlier on. Enterprise risk management is an approach to managing risk that reflect the organization's culture, capability, and strategy to create a sustained value. Identify risk, the process of determining and documenting the, the risk that might affect the intended outcomes. Impact, impact a measure of an effect of the risk on one or more objectives if it is occur. Issue, issue a current threat that may have impact on one or more objectives. See also opportunity, risk, and threat. Issue, management reserve, time or money that management sets aside in addition to the schedule or cost baseline and release for unforeseen work that is within the scope of the project, say also contingency reserve. Opportunity, a risk that would have a positive effect on one or more objective, say also issue, risk, and threat. Organizational Project Management, a framework in which portfolio program and project management are integrated with organizational enables in order to achieve strategic objective. Overall risk, the effect of uncertainty on the opportunity program or project as a whole. Portfolio, project programs, subsidiary portfolios, and operations manage as a group to achieve strategic objectives, say also programs and projects. Portfolio management, the centralized management of one or more portfolios to achieve strategic objectives, say also program management and project management. Probability, pr probability, I'm sure of how likely an individual risk is to occur. Program related project subsidiary program and program activities managed in a coordinated manner to obtain benefits not available from managing them individually. See also portfolio and project. Program management, the applications of knowledge, skills, and principles to a program to achieve the program objectives and to obtain benefits and control not available by managing program components individually. See also portfolio management and project management. Project, a temporary endeavor undertaking to create a unique product, service, or result. See also portfolio and program. Project management, the applications of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet the project requirements. See also portfolio management and program management. Qualitative risk analysis. 
the considerations of the range characteristics such as probability of occurrence, degree of impact on the objectives, manageable timing of possible impact, relationship with other risk and common causes or effect. Quantitative risk analysis, the combination, the combined effect of identified risk on the desired outcome. Residual risk, the risk that remain after risk response has been implemented. See also secondary risk. Response strategy, a high level approach to address an individual risk or overall risk broken down into a set of risk action. Risk, an uncertain event or condition that if it is secure has a positive or negative effect on one or more objectives. See also issue, opportunity, and threat. Risk acceptance, a risk response that involves acknowledging the risk and taking no action unless it occur. See also risk avoidance, risk enhancement. Risk exploiting, risk mitigation, risk sharing, and risk transference. Risk action, a detailed task that implements in whole or in parts its response strategy in order to address an individual risk or overall risk. Risk action owner, the person responsible for carrying out the approved risk action when responding to a given risk, also known as response owner. Risk analysis, the activities related to defining the characteristic of risk and the degree of which it can impact objectives. Risk appetite, the degree of uncertainty an organization or an individual is willing to accept and anticipations of a reward, see also risk threshold and risk tolerance. Risk assessment, the process of identifying, analyzing, and determining the probability of occurrence of a risk. Risk attitude, a disposition towards uncertainty adapted explicitly or implicitly by individuals and groups driven by perception and evidence by observable behavior. Risk avoidance. Oh, where, are, where are we? Risk attitude, a disposition towards uncertainty adapted explicitly, explicitly or implicitly by individual and group driven by perceptions and evidence by observable behavior. Risk avoidance, a risk response that involves Eliminating the threat or protecting the project program or portfolio from its impact. See also risk acceptance, risk enhancement, risk exploiting, risk mitigation, risk sharing, and risk transference. Risk enhancement. A risk response that involves increasingly the probability of occurrence or impact of an opportunity. Risk escalation, a risk response that involves transferring the ownership of the risk to a relevant party in the organization because the risk is outside of the scope or the team does not have sufficient authority to address it. Risk exploiting, a risk response that involves ensuring that the opportunity occurs, see also risk acceptance, risk avoidance. Risk enhancement, risk mitigation, risk sharing, risk transference, risk exposure, an aggregate measure of the potential impact of all risk at any given point in time in a project program or portfolio. Risk identification is the process of locating, locating and profiling the activities of risk related to work objectives. Risk management is the process <coughs> that shape decision making across the organization and within each of the domain and involves identifying, analyzing, responding to, and monitoring risk. Risk management framework 
a structure that organizes the process and activities of managing risk in an iterative fashion. Risk management life cycle, a structured approach for undertaking a comprehensive view of risk throughout the enterprise, portfolio program, and project domain. Risk management plan is a component of the project program or portfolio management plan that describe how risk management activities will be structured and fair form. Risk mitigation is a risk response that involves decreasing the probability of impact or impact of the threat. See also risk acceptance, risk avoidance, risk enhancement, risk exploiting, risk sharing, and risk transference. Risk owner, the person responsible for monitoring the risk and for selecting and implementing an appropriate risk response strategy. Risk register, a repository in which output of risk management process are recorded. Risk response, an action, plan, or implemented to address particular threat and opportunities. Risk sharing, a risk response that involves allocating ownership of an opportunity to a third party who is best able to capture an opportunity or absorb the impact of the threat. See also risk acceptance, risk avoidance, risk enhancement, risk exploiting, risk mitigation, and risk transference. Risk threshold is the measure of acceptable variation around the objective that reflect the risk appetite of the organization and the stakeholder. See also risk appetite and risk tolerance. Risk transference is a risk response that involves shifting and the impact of the threat to a third party together with the ownership of the response. See also risk acceptance. Risk avoidance, risk enhancement, risk exploiting, risk mitigation, and risk sharing. Secondary risk, a risk that arise, arises as a direct result of implementing a risk response. See also residual risk. Stakeholder, an individual group or organization that may affect, be affected by or perceive itself to be affected by a decision activity or outcomes of the project program or portfolio. Threat is a risk that would have a negative effect on one or more objectives. See also issue, opportunity, and risk. Trigger condition, an event or situation that indicates that a risk is about to occur. Index. Index A. Index A, accountability at enterprise level, at portfolio level, at program level, at project level, activities, organizational, strategic, tactical, aligned with organizational strategy and governance, practices, ambiguity, analysis of risk, portfolio life cycle, and program life cycle and project life cycle, assumptions, authority, be balance, balance value against overall risk, business context, literacy cost, closing of processes and project risk management, components, constraint, contextual risk, contingency plan, contingency reserve, continuous improvement of competencies, Culture that embrace risk management. Letter D, domain of risk management. Letter E, emerging, emerging, emergent risk, enterprise, enterprise level accountability, enterprise risk management, ARM, applications of frameworks of key success factor, organizational strategy, risk management, and purpose of Responsibilities of ERM, say enterprise risk management, executing process and project risk management. Number F, focus on most impactful risk. Governance, 
organizational strategy, and practices of portfolio program, a guide of the project management body of knowledge, PM book guide 15 and 60. What is this 15 and 60? There is a corresponding number. This is the page. <clears throat> Identification of risk portfolio life cycle and 42 program life cycle and 49 to 50 project life cycle and 58 to 59 identify risk 28, 29, 34 purpose of, thir of 32 success factors for 33 technique for 32 impact number 4, number 10, 26 and 155. I think I don't need to speak the pages. <clears throat> Implementing risk response portfolio life cycles and program life cycles and project life cycles and purpose of success factor <coughs> for initiating processes and project risk management issues. Letter key, key success factor for risk management life cycle. Letter L, life cycle. See also risk management life cycle. Introduction to portfolio risk management program life cycle management program risk management, project risk management. Letter M, management reserve, managing risk systematic approach to, manage, to monitor risk. Key success factor for process of purpose of residual impact analysis, risk assessment, monitoring and controlling processes, and project risk management, monitoring risk, portfolio life cycle, and program life cycle and project life cycle and letter n navigating complexity of to enable success outcomes navigating complexity a practice guide <clears throat> letter o operational risk opm say organizational project management opportunities organization context of framework of planning with risk management in organizational activities Organizational Project Management OPM, Organizational Strategies, Governance Practices, and Alignment of Risk Management ERM, and Overall Risk. Letter P, Performance Domain, C, Portfolio Management, Performance Domain, Program Management, Performance Domain, Perform Qualitative Risk Analysis, The Purpose of Success Factor for Planning Processes, and Project Risk Management, Plan Risk Management, Processes of purpose of risk appetite in rules and guidelines defined in success factor for tailoring and scaling of plan risk response for dealing with opportunities for dealing with the threat. Key success factor for purpose of PM book guide, SIGA guide of project management body of knowledge, PMI foundational standard of portfolio. Portfolio Program Project Management, Risk Management, and Accountability Relating to Authority, Relating to Business Context of Organizational Context for Organizational Frameworks, for Responsibility Relating to Strategic and Organizational Planning for Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management, Portfolio Governance, Portfolio Level Accountability at Portfolio Management, Portfolio Management Performance Domain, Risk management with portfolio capacity and capability management, portfolio governance, portfolio risk management, portfolio stakeholder engagement, portfolio strategic management, portfolio value management, portfolio risk life cycle, identification, implementing risk response, monitoring risk, qualitative and quantitative analysis, response strategies. Portfolio Risk Management, Goals of 41, Integrating into Portfolio Management Performance Domain, Portfolio Capacity and Capability Management, Portfolio Governance, Portfolio Risk Management, Portfolio Stakeholder Engagement, Portfolio Strategic Management, Portfolio Value Management, Life Cycle, Monitoring Risk, Risk Identification, Risk Qualitative and Quantitative Analysis, Risk Response Implementing, Risk Response Strategies, Purpose of Strategies for Portfolio Risk Management Life Cycle, Identifying Risk, Monitoring Portfolio Risk, Portfolio Risk Response Implementation, 
portfolio risk response strategies, qualitative and quantitative analysis, risk response strategies, portfolio stakeholder engagement, portfolio strategic management, portfolio value management, principles of risk management, align with organizational strategy and governance practices, balance realizations of value against overall risk, continuous improvement of competencies, focus on most impactful risk, foster a culture that embraces risk management, navigate complexity to enable success outcomes, strive to achieve excellence, probability, program, program portfolio management, risk management, and program benefits management, program governance, program level accountability, program life cycle management, program management, program management performance domain, program benefits management, program governance, program life cycle management, program stakeholder engagement, program strategy alignment, program supporting activities, program risk identification, program risk management life cycle, identification of risk, implementing risk response, monitoring of risk, qualitative and quantitative analysis, risk response strategies, program risk monitoring, program risk qualitative and quantitative analysis, program risk response implementing, program risk response strategies, program stakeholder engagement, program strategy alignment, program supporting activities, program level risk, project, project level accountability, project management, program portfolio risk management, and project management process group. Risk management with six, with closing processes relating to executing process, relating to initiating process, relating to monitoring process, relating to planning process, relating to project risk management, knowledge area of project risk management life cycle, identification, monitoring, qualitative and quantitative project risk analysis, response implementation, response strategies, project pulse of provision. Letter Q, qualitative risk analysis, key success factor for perform qualitative risk analysis for project risk management, purpose of technique for quantitative risk analysis, contingency reserve estimation, key success factor for perform quantitative risk analysis of project risk management, purpose of technique for residual risk, letter R, residual risk, response, response plan implementation, see also plan risk response, Implement risk response with project risk management, response strategies with project risk management, responsibility, risk, see also specific risk, classification relating to definitions of evaluation factor relating to level of risk acceptance, risk action, risk action owner, risk analysis, see also qualitative risk analysis and quantitative risk analysis. Risk appetite, risk assessment, risk attitude, risk avoidance, risk classification, risk escalation, risk exploiting, risk exposure, risk identification, portfolio life cycle and program life cycle and project life cycle, and risk management. See also portfolio management performance domain, risk management with application of approach to general organization. ARM, key concept and definitions of opportunities, risk, risk appetite, risk attitude, risk threshold, threat, key success factor of an organization, practice of purpose, of result of structure of risk management domain, enterprise, portfolio, in portfolio program management, program, project, risk management frameworks, Risk management life cycle, identify risk, implement risk response, introductions to monitor risk, perform qualitative risk analysis, perform quantitative risk analysis, plan risk management, plan risk response, technique for quantitative risk analysis, risk management planning, risk management plan, risk management principles, 
align with organizational strategy and governance practices, continuous improvement competencies, focus on most impactful risk, foster culture that embrace risk management, navigate complexity to enable successful outcomes, strive to achieve excellence, risk mitigation, risk honor, risk register, risk response, see also plan risk response implementation, risk response strategies, portfolio life cycle and program life cycle and project life cycle, and risk sharing, risk threshold, risk transference. Letter S, secondary risk, stakeholder, portfolio stakeholder engagement, program stakeholder engagement, the standard for portfolio management, the standard for program management, strategic activity for monitoring, strategic and organization planning, strategic management in portfolios, strategic risk, strive to achieve excellence, structure of risk management, success factor, supporting program activities, tactical activity for monitoring, tactical risk, tailoring and scaling of plan risk management, threat, trigger condition, letter U, uncertainty, letter V, value of portfolio management, value management, The standard for risk management in portfolios, program, and project. The standard for risk management in portfolio programs and project is an update and expansion upon PMI popular reference. The practice is standard for project risk management. Risk management address the fact that certain event or condition, whether expected or unforese unforeseeable during the planning process, may occur with impact on portfolio program and project objectives. This impact can be positive or negative and may cause deviation from the intended objectives. Risk management processes allow for proactive planning to capture opportunities and limit threat. This standards identifies the core principles of risk management, describe the fundamentals of risk management and the environment within which it is carried out, define the risk management life cycle, applies risk management principles to the portfolio, program, and project domain within the context of the enterprise risk management approach. This is standard focus on what of risk management example, the key considerations of effective risk management. It is primarily written for portfolio program and project managers, but is useful tools for leaders in risk management business consumers of risk management and other stakeholder in portfolio, program, and project management profession. So this is the, the end of the project management for portfolio program from Project Management Institute, Global Center, 15 Campus Boulevard, Newton Square, PA, 19073 USA, PMI.org. PMI member benefits license to Wendell Bayot 6304999, not for distribution. So I download this. I download this to the PMI. Oh, there is a price. The price of this is $63. Okay, guys, this is the end of the project management per portfolio program and project management updated on 2018. This is the page 153 to 194. And thank you so much. This is the continuations of project risk management per program, portfolio management per page 153 out of 194. Chapter X6.3 Qualitative Risk Analysis. Qualitative Risk Analysis. 